The networks were set up to improve communication among the review groups. There are five review groups in our network. Which relate to acute conditions that are either sudden onset or need prompt attention and also the prevention of such conditions. We supported a Cochrane Bone Joint and Muscle Trauma Group um, with uh, producing a really high quality priority review for their group, which was funded by NIHR and was also a priority for the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence in the UK. The quality and the depth of that work to me really stands out. We're beginning to work together more closely, sort of helping groups support um, prioritisation setting. Each review group is developing or refining their priority setting process, but we also are starting to work on a priority uh, setting approach for the network as a whole. And uh, with that, we've engaged some key stakeholders, such as the World Health Organization, the International Federation for Emergency, medicine. Well, another exciting aspect of the acute and emergency care network is our collaboration with two fields. One is pre-hospital and emergency care. We've been engaging with that field to identify some key priority reviews for the future uh, since that area of medicine is a little underdeveloped. And then there's a new field called first aid, and that audience is the lay person. How does the lay person deal with emergencies? What is the evidence for various approaches in that setting? The main role of the network is to ensure that, you know, the Cochrane Review Groups are sort of maintained in a sustainable way. You know, we've got the capacity to develop new methods and work on the content strategy. It's not good enough just to produce this high quality product unless it gets in the hands of the end users. And so I think that's key. Enhance the uptake of this incredible work that our authors and editors are producing.